Good evening, ladies and gents. John Milton here. And uh, first off, I just want to say I hope you've all had a wonderful day. I'm thinking, wow, it's been ages since I did one of these vlogs. And uh, the reason I wanted to, wanted to do one for y'all today was because I've not done one in a while and I really like to talk to you guys via camera. So, and uh, yeah, the topic today is um, with my 10 most inspirational guitar players. And uh, um, I've got uh, some snippets of uh, some material from these people I'm going to showcase for you with my uh, it's awesome Epiphone Les Bocas from Silverburst with Seymour Duncans. Um, and yeah, I, <laughs> I've not done one of these vlogs in a while, so if I'm a little rusty, I, I, I do apologise, so, and, uh, yeah, uh, may as well start with number one, which is, uh, obviously, Adam Jones from Tool, I'm a huge Tool and Adam Jones fan, and, uh, yeah, the reason why, um, he's my number one pick for my ten most inspirational guitar players is because, like, I, I love the work he's done, like, he mostly plays on a drop D tuning, uh, apart from the songs Prison Sex, Monotone, which is in B, A, D, G, B, E, uh, Maynard's Dick from Slyfall, which is in standard tuning, E, D, G, B, E, and uh, Parable and Parabola, which are in B, E, D, G, B, E, some kind of seven string variation tunes, obviously in seven strings, B, A, E, D, G, B, E. So, <laughs> I thought those weird, um, weird letters there, guys, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you some snippets. Um, I've got some uh, loaded up on my laptop, so uh, I'm going to uh, grab the silver burst and see what I can do. And uh, yeah, this is like, the first one is from the song Four Degrees, it's basically the intro. It's one of the very few <laughs> occasions where Adam Jones, well, he actually plays a sitar on the recording, uh, but every every guitar player I've seen follow this song um, on YouTube, it's basically like, people play it in clean. So uh, yeah, it's basically like the intro, if I just scroll down here on my, so I'm old school, and I have Windows Media Player, not uh, iTunes, I'm on that top. So <laughs> anyway, um, Four Degrees, here we go. And the clean, clean tone, red twang on line six. Like the point of that was was to show his uh, extended open power chords, which have been used in a plethora of tool songs, used to like you know kind of ex expand the kind of sound of the main rhythm. Like there's one in the, in the cover of like Zeppelin's No Quarter, so I shall get up for y'all guys right now. I think it's like seven minutes thirty in the song. Yeah, that's one of the characteristics I really like about Adam Jones' playing, the fact that it kind of like makes the sound of the power chords more bigger by adding those extra octave, octave notes. And yeah, another thing I like, in fact, it just like, the snippets take so long to load, it's like I'll just play them, like, just on the guitar, so. Uh, and then another playing style of his I really like is uh, in the song Schism, used with triplets. Basically it goes like this. Kind of plays that one with the bass. Obviously, Adam Jones and Justin Chance have like an amazing like connection. He also moves it on here to go A, uh, D, sorry, A, G, and A, and then C, B, and D, and then he moves it up, which I'll show you right now. <laughs> So, uh, throughout that song, the bass line just keeps moving all the time. Adam Jones stays in a certain area, then he moves up like, the second verse or something. <laughs> but yeah, I can see, like, I kind of plan some kind of things to do with this, but I think it's best just to, like, uh, just, like, move on and not kind of stick to the plans. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'll, I'll put the silver burst back now. And, uh, yeah, um, and the second in my uh, ten most inspirational guitar players. Yeah, play number four, and I don't hardly do this. So, this is a rarity. <laughs> It's uh, Kirk Hammett and James Hetfield from Metallica, and uh, for the longest time, like, I'm really focused on that's some good storytelling time. <laughs> and yeah, for like the longest time, James Hetfield and Kirk Hammett, uh, Metallica my favourite band for ages, like, I grew up loving them. Like, I've owned the Black Album since I was about 13. Uh, so, and yeah, like, Kirk Hammett used a lot of wah on his solos these days, but he, he used a lot of, like, 
hammer-ons, pull-offs. I know it's probably like they're not the same describing it, so they're like actual physically showing it, but <laughs> yeah, like, I, I still need to practice some of Kirk Hammond solos, it's just absolutely amazing. <laughs> And then James Hetfield is obviously the rhythm guitarist of Metallica, although he did play the, the guitar solo like Nothing Else Matters, which I used to play that um, back when I had my old Roland, well, Roland Microcube, oh, Microcube, <laughs> basically I played it in my bedroom, that was when I first was with the chorus effects, but oh, this sounds amazing, and <laughs> like, I, I kind of studied it with my teacher, and um, we did Nothing Else Matters, and um, I used to play that solo in my room, it was absolutely beautiful, because uh, I was saying that he uses like his, his pick and his like, doing a bit of finger style as well. Uh, so it's like it's like you, you pick you, you pick up your pick and you <laughs> and you play and uh, yeah I I love Kirk and James they're absolutely amazing and then we're going to Angus Young and Malcolm Young from ACDC obviously um, a lot of the people like our main guitar and Spresh, like the biggest guitar some of the biggest guitar players in the world such as like Jimmy Page Eric Clapton Pete Townsend Lennon McCartney Harrison etc uh, so I was getting those ones out of the way. Uh, yeah, like Angus Young, Malcolm Mercy, so it's always get that lead rhythm combination, Angus being the uh, lead guitarist in ACDC. <laughs> like, I, I kind of like his double stops, uh, such as in the songs For Those Bats Rotley Salute You and in the solo Hell's Bells. Uh, and also Malcolm's lead drive, like the rhythm underneath that. Um, and move on to uh, Jimi Hendrix, from the Jimi Hendrix experience. Obviously, Hendrix is regarded as like, arguably like the greatest or one of the best guitar players ever throughout history. Um, obviously, I learned the main riff to Purple Haze before I recorded this, but you know, just to save time, I'll just leave, get to leave the guitar there and just talk to you guys. So, um, but yeah, like, I really like the fact that Jimi Hendrix, like, Matisse describes as a more like rounded player, it's just like the main riff like Fox Lady, for example. Uh, my phone screen keeps going a bit down, so I keep going to go to it. Um, yeah, uh, Purple Haze and all that stuff. Now I get Jimmy Page from Live Zeppelin, obviously. I, I put these in some kind of order, but not actually in order, so I like them all about the same. So, I would say, like, uh, Jimmy Page and Led Zeppelin, um, it's got some great rhythm and play, like, he can come up with some amazing riffs. But, like, the one thing with the soloing, it's a very kind of improvised style of soloing. There's not really, like, I think, like, Stairway to Heaven was probably one of the most, like, one of the times we actually thought about what he was doing. Most times, like, a lot of hammer runs and pull-offs, just, like, Heartbreaker and Black Dog, for example. Uh, and then we get to, um, Sorry, my voice is a little bit monotone, by the way. <laughs> like I said, I'm not doing one of these vlogs in a while for you guys thinking, like, you know, I'm bound to sound a little bit rusty, I suppose. <laughs> Hopefully, this won't come off as too bad, but we'll see. <laughs> I just want to make the very best to you guys because, you know, you all deserve it. Absolute legends. Uh, and then we get to Dave Murray and Adrian Smith from Iron Maiden. Obviously, Iron Maiden, another one of my favourite bands growing up. Like, I, I love the galloping, and I tend to, like, use the E5. And C5s quite a lot, chucking some D5s in there from time to time. It's like a lot of trips, like did 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 such like you no know, number of beast, run to the hills. Probably it's probably most of their kind, their songs that kind of um, E to C kind of thing. Uh, and then we've got Eddie Van Halen from Van Halen. Obviously, Eddie Van Halen was an innovator of tapping songs just like Hot for Teacher. That's my phone. My friend texted me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, in, like, he innovated like tapping. Obviously, in the songs like Eruption and Hot for Teacher. So, um, there you go. And then we've got uh, Sinister Gates, Revenge Time and Fall. The reason why I put him down is kind, of, kind of like a modern guitarist, and in today's world, it's kind of looks like the best guitar player in the world, which is, I mean, eventually a great upcoming, well, upcoming established come in, establish a new band. Uh, obviously, because rock music isn't as popular these days, probably that's why not in the public eye as much, unless you're into that kind of music. And then, uh, obviously, Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath, because he's just like an absolute riff master. Uh, obviously with wrists like Iron Man, Paranoid, this guy and other. Uh, and then we get, uh, I suppose I was going to say Slash from Guns N' Roses. So I, I, <laughs> I'm not listening, I'm not listening on my list, but like definitely Slash from Guns N' Roses. Slash, Slash, uh, is, is, is he struggling? Uh, and then we get Alex Lyson from Rush. Obviously Rush, like Influence Tool on King Crimson, uh, stuff like that. Alex Lyson again is like a, a riff master, like kind of like classic rock kind of vibe. Uh, I suppose you could say the guitar player from Leonard Skinner as well. I can't nail them off my heart because I'm crap like that. Oh. But yeah, I was going to say like, I have a lot of like classic rock kind of influences in my, <laughs> my guitar and inspiration. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of bummed that like, like the script didn't go to plan. I realised it would just take too long. It might be a little bit awkward. So um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that, that was, like, that's like 10 condensed in about 2 minutes. But... <laughs>
Never mind. I hope, I hope this video was reasonably enjoyable for you peeps. And um, if you want to, uh, I'm playing with the guys tomorrow in Psychedelic Horizons at the Telstar Open Mic Night in Walk. If you, uh, I will be live streaming the, the first set because we've got three new covers uh, to play. So if you want to uh, come down to the gig, it starts by 8 o'clock. But if not, we'll be putting it on Facebook. So probably look out for that about, well, I'll, I'll put a status on there saying, <laughs> saying what time uh, we're going to be live streaming. So... Yeah, and then I'm playing with Nathan and Ryan on Tuesday and, and Dalton Silver Miners. If you, any piece wants to come down to that, I hope it's a Facebook live act, so that should be like a, quite a, like an extended kind of set. But um, yeah, until then, I hope you all have a, a fantastic evening, and I shall see you all soon. Until then, peace, love, rock and roll forever, y'all. I'm out.